The best way to engage people is to um, to bring out other emotions, other feelings. Because a, a lot of people are very angry and and, um, and upset by it all, obviously. But there's, there's, there's other emotions, like the feelings of loss, you know. All that energy needs somewhere to go. And that's what this does. It's, it's, it's somewhere to go and somewhere to think about the people who've gone and what, 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 what kind of people they might have been if they lived a bit longer and so on. And also to enjoy the kind of people they were when they were alive, you know, and to celebrate them as people. The people asked me to do it, the, um, the Hillsborough Justice, Justice uh, campaign group. They, um, they gave me a bit of free reign, but every part of it was discussed with them. And, um, and of course some of their ideas were incorporated. I was very moved by meeting people who, who were involved in it and, and I've, I've been thinking about this for years anyway, you know, about the, uh, it's this terrible disaster and the way it's, the way it's been handled, you know, with, uh, it hasn't been handled very well at all really by uh, all kinds of people. And I felt that if I was to make a monument, I didn't want to make something that would obsess anyone, I wanted something that was, um, Something that that hope and it's something that um, would um, you know make us uh, look back on this and, and and not to see people as the eternal victims you know as, as so they would be seen as the people they were you know the, the, um, not just a statistic and to do that um, I felt to just show ordinary people people like them and people like us. It starts off with well round it starts off with Hillsborough of it. And then the whole text reads, um, Hillsborough disaster, we'll remember them. And then the actual start of the sculpture is two plaques of the names, which are just shown as wood here, but they will have the names of the uh, deceased. And the central part here will be the um, a wreath of spring flowers. The live bird in, and you know the ninety six, and then below we'll have uh, here we'll have sort of some description of the um, of the disaster, possibly a poem as well, and down here we have the uh, we just have some scarves, and there's lots of little surprises in the sculpture. Um, we've got some uh, some flowers and there's birds. The birds are a, a sort of part of the narrative. They are like the um, they're like the, the souls of the dead, really, the souls of the departed. Now this figure here we see a boy who's looking in on the names. And there's another group of people on the other side which we'll come to. They're also looking in on it. And that's the sort of, this is the more formal part of the sculpture. And then the next part we see, this man represents... The city as a whole, really. He's in this sort of shankly I pose, but if you look carefully on one side, on one, it's not, it's not putting very well at the moment. But on one side, we've got the, the Liverpool, um, uh, crest, and on the other side, we've got the Everton crest, which symbolises the city joined together in the grief of, ninety-six of our citizens who were, uh, unfortunately died in this disaster. Now this group, if you take it as a whole. Here we see this central figure here, and this man, in a way, represents all of us. And this flag represents the people who died, and the flag is resting upon, upon uh, uh, across him. And he's there's a lady over here holding it as well. And this man, and so this group is all of us, the way we feel about it. The hands overlap, which means something in itself. You know, it's about the union of um, of people. Uh, you, you, we're all united behind the in what we feel about the Hillsborough disaster. These people behind are holding up parts of the text in this particular part. Says we will remember them, and you see he's doing the same there. But they're overall they all add part to the sort of flow of the design that's made up in these sort of different shapes. And this uh, young lady here is the justice figure and she's just um, discussing the, you know, all the things that have happened regarding the, you know, what happened and 
the, these elements of the justice and people campaigning and all the rest of it. And so many people have been campaigning to, to get the, the truth out about this incident and just the truth really. And they put in the uh, with hope in your heart. Um, now hope is, a, is a, th a theme in the sculpture which we'll come on to shortly. But before we do that we've got another figure here. And this figure is touching the ground. And these birds are emanating from his hand and the birds as we've seen them all, all over the place. And as I say they represent the, um, the people who passed away. They are actually like the observers on this piece, and this figure is the is a hope figure. And so after you know, in, you know, Liverpool, we we can't stay down for very long. Um, we we you know we rise up and we face the challenge, and that's what's happened with the Hillsborough disaster. So he represents that. And he's holding up this flag, and in this flag we have the two anchors, which uh, well one anchor symbolises um, hope. And we've got the um, the city sort of uh, crest here, um, and then we below here we've got the uh, the eternal flame. Again, we've used um, birds. But in this case, we use the live birds, and so that more or less uh, self-explanatory. They're not actually finished those birds, but <laughs> we won't worry about that. But anyway, here we have a little girl. And she's part of this family group. Now, they, of course, this this group is linked to the boy on the other side, and it's part of the formal side, the, the more formal side of the sculpture with the names and all that kind of thing. And they are obviously, um, in, you know, they, they're obviously um, deeply engrossed in in, in, in in grief and remembrance. And if you if you look carefully, you notice this young lady is um, is pregnant. And this is about new life, new beginnings, and of course, when we pass away, um, part of us always carries on, and that's what that refers to. Because the little girl is distracted, and she's playing with one of these birds. So this 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 is a very, this is all a sign of hope. All this it's a sign of the the future, and it's again it's the, as I say the whole monument is us looking back. Because inside the monuments. Is something else because inside the monuments we have um, all the memories that people can put in. So it's actually a giant memory box, um, a giant container. So we can all put in our reflections and things we wish we could have said, and things we'd have liked to have said. And hopefully, even that's something all the citizens of Liverpool can do if they want to. And uh, obviously, the families of the departed as well. Where and when can people expect to see this in public? I think in the, the, the Hill, Hill, Hillborough, Hillsborough Justice campaign have put some money in, into it and they're very keen to get it going. And it's really, I don't know, I guess it's up to people. If they, the, the more money they can get in, then the quicker we can make it. I mean, the sculpture is almost finished now um, and then we'll take a mould of it and then we'll be, once they've got enough money to cast it, it will be cast. And then the, the next big challenge is to find a, a site for us. This is a terrible disaster. 96 people were killed and thousands of people have suffered from it, you know, from the families, people. There. There's lots of post-traumatic stress and there's been actually quite a lot of suicides uh, which have uh, come about from this. And, um, and I wanted to do something that would, um, that would be good, you know, cathartic.